Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Nina. Welcome to another video. And in this video, I'll be giving you guys a tutorial of how I played Nyuti by Roddy Liam. So first of all, I want to say thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it and I'm very killing. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Before starting, I want to give a shout out to Algada Ivan 8 Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the love. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm in a very teacher mode today. So first thing you're gonna need is your uke, obviously, and it should be tuned to sound like this. <laughs> okay, so for this song, you're gonna need four chords. That's D, A, E minor, and G. So if you know those chords, you can just skip through this part, but if you don't know the chords, don't worry, because I'm gonna take you through it one by one. Let me get closer. Very intimate. To play D, that's the 2nd, 3rd, 4th string of the 2nd fret. Sounds like that. For A, that's the 4th string on the 2nd fret and the 3rd string on the 1st fret to sound like this. For the E minor, that's the 1st string on the 2nd fret, the 2nd string on the 3rd fret, and the 4th string on the 4th fret. Guys, I actually meant the 3rd string on the 4th fret. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sounds like that. And for the G, it's 1st and 3rd string on the 2nd fret, and the 2nd string on the 3rd fret, and it sounds like this. Okay, now we got that. Now we get into the whole song, and honestly, this is just a very simple cover of mine. Very simple playing, very simple strumming pattern. So a lot of the chords that I play, I play it with one down strum, but then I have a strumming pattern that's mainly down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So on the D chord, it sounds like this. Up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So that's the strumming pattern that you are going to need. But if you want to like modify it, that's fine. Because I personally, I modify it too or I change it a bit. Depends on my mood. For the verse, you're going to need the chord progressions of D, A, E minor, A. That's the first chord progression. And the second chord progression is E minor, G, A. Okay, <laughs> now we got that right for the verses. We're gonna play the first chord progression twice Then we get into the second chord progression for the first chord progression. I Simply just use down strums then when I go to the second chord progression That's when I insert the strumming patterns. So if you guys didn't quite get that I'll show you don't worry Just I didn't warm up my voice. So well, the first verse is gonna sound like this Mina must kita Nang hindi mo alam Pinapangarap kong ikaw ay aking Up, up, down, up, up Mapupulang labi At matingkad mong ngiti Umapot hanggang isa lang iit Then the next one Huwag ka lang titihin Sa akin at baka matunaw Ang puso kong sabi so, you saw on that last A chord, I ended it with a down strum. This is so that I could transition to the chorus. So, for the chorus, it's just one kind of chord progression, but you play it twice. And after finishing the second one, you insert an A chord. So, the chord progression is D, A, E minor, G. Then you play it again, D, A, E minor, G. And then you end it with an A. For the chorus, I simply just do one down strum, except on the last three chords, which is E minor, G, A, I start doing the strumming pattern. So, if you guys want to play it with me, Sa iyong iti, ako'y nahuhumali, at sa tuwing ikaw ay kakalaw, ang mundo ko'y tumitikil para lang sa'yo. Then the strong pattern Sanay mapansin mo rin Ang lihim kong Pagtingin Pagtingin So for the chorus to the intermission To the last chorus I just do the same chord progression That I taught you So 
on the last line of the first chorus it sounds like this and I just do an intermission You can just play with the notes or you can play with your voice. And then for the last. Okay, so you really end it on the D chord, that's what I do because that was the starting chord, so you end it with the same chord. <laughs> so just to remind you all, this isn't the full version because I just sang the first verse, but if you want to sing the second verse, it's the same same, you know, same fundamentals. I forgot to mention that when you sing this song, a secret ingredient is to imagine the person you're singing to. So, you gotta get up with that Kilig moment. everything that was how I played Ngiti by Ronnie Liang on my uke. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions just put it on the comments section down below and thank you guys. Thank you again for the 10,000 subscribers. I'm really happy. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!